Hello guys and welcome to the series of shell scripting. In this video, we will discuss about the break statement and continue statement. So let's begin. Break and continue statements are used in the loop. Break on the one hand is used to terminate the loop while continue is used to move to the next iteration. Now first let's discuss about the break statement. So break statement is mainly used when you want to terminate from the loop. So as soon as break statement is encountered the loop body will get terminated and the program execution will move outside the loop. Now to understand break statement let's take an example here. Right. So first of all, we will execute this shell script without the break and then we will enable the break and we'll see how it is impacting the output. Okay. So what exactly is happening here? We have a I variable that will loop over the five value that is one to five. Okay. So in the first iteration, the value holded by I is one. Then it will check that whether is I equal equal three or not. Okay. So the condition is false. So this statement will not take place. After the if body we are writing here echo I is dollar I. So it will print I is one. In the next iteration I will become two. Again the condition is false. So it will be printed I is two. In the next it will be three. So I will be equals to three. Right. So in this case our condition gets true and then it will write here echo loop break. Okay. At this moment, our break statement is commented out. So this statement will not execute. Then it will again go to this particular line and it will say i is 3. So again, the loop will continue. The value of i will become 4. This condition will be false and the output will be i is 4. And similarly for the 5 also, the output will be i is 5. Right. Now let's say that i use here break statement. Okay. So now what will happen? First of all, when the i is 1, then it will print i is 1. Then for the i is 2, then it will print i is 2. But when it will see that i has become equal equals to 3, that means the condition will be true. In that case, it will, it will print loop break. And since I am writing here break, the program execution will move outside this loop. Okay. So the program execution will move in this particular line that is outside of our loop and whatever is written outside of the loop will get executed. So the purpose of the break statement is to terminate the loop and as soon as the break statement is encountered the program execution will move after the loop. Okay. Now this is only for a single loop but there are many cases when we use the nested loops. Now nested loops are basically when we write loops inside the loops. For example, for loop inside while loop or while inside while or while inside until it could be in any combination. Okay. And the nesting could be done in any number of times. For example, for loop inside for loop inside while loop inside until loop. Now, when we use the nesting loop, in that case, we also use another form of break that is break. And after that, we provide the number. Okay. Now, this particular number is used to terminate from the nth and closing loop. For example, in this shell script, we have one loop that is enclosing loop one and which is already inside another loop, right? So the outer loops have the highest number. So this will be our enclosing loop number two and the inner loop will be enclosing loop number one. Now let's see how it is working without using the break statement. So first of all, we are initializing a variable user imp with the value yes, right? After that, it will check that whether the value of user imp is yes or not. So it is yes, condition is true, it will move to its own body, right? This is our body. Now, inside the body, we have another loop for i in curly braces 1 to 5, right? So the i value will repeat from 1 to 5. Then it will check that whether the value of i is 3 or not. So if it is 3, then it will print loop break and after that it will print i is dollar i okay so in the first iteration i is holding the value of one so it will print here i is one then it will move to the i value to the two then condition will be false it will print i is two then for when i is become equals to three it will echo that the loop has been break and since i am not using here break at this moment it is commented out so it will move to the next line and it will print that i is 3 similarly for i is 4 and i is 5 okay now the inner loop has been completed so after that it will move to this line that it will print inner loop completed and it will ask me do you want to continue and it will store the value in the user imp variable 
Now, if I write there y e s in lower case, then the condition will get true, and again the body of the while loop will get executed. Now, let's suppose I am writing here y e s in lower case, condition is true, then again it will print i is one, i is two, and then loop break i is three, i is four, and i is five. Again, it will say in a loop completed, and in this case, do you want to continue? I writing here no. Okay, so now this particular condition will get false. and the program execution will move outside of this particular loop okay and now it will print script execution completed okay now let's suppose i am only writing here break okay and by default the value of the n is 1 so if i am not writing here anything it means it is already written there 1 now break 1 means that as soon as this statement will encounter we have to terminate the nth enclosing loop okay so since i am writing here one so it will be terminate from this particular loop okay so in the first time the user in value is yes then it will start printing that i is one then i is two and then when the i is become equal equals to 3 it will say echo loop break so in the output it will be loop break and then it will break from the first enclosing loop now this is our first enclosing loop so the control execution will move outside of this particular loop right so now the execution will move in this particular line okay that is we are terminating from the enclosing loop number 1 okay since i am defining here 1 so it will say in a loop completed then it will say do you want to continue let's say i say here yes so the condition will be true then again it will execute for i in 1 to 5 so it will print i is 1 i is 2 and then again for the i is equal to equal 3 the condition will be true and then it will again print loop break and then i am writing here break 1 so it will be break from this particular loop okay that is enclosing loop number 1 okay then again it will ask that the inner loop continue do you want to continue let's say i write there no so this condition will gets false this time and the flow will go to the next line of the outer loop right so it will say script execution completed now let's suppose that instead of 1 i write here 2 now in this case as soon as this particular statement will be encountered then the second enclosing loop body will get terminated so let's see what will happen first of all user in value is yes so it will move to its body then i is 1 so it will print i is 1 then i will become 2 so it will print i is 2 then as soon as i is equal equal 3 the condition is true it will echo me that the loop break and we are defining here break 2 okay so in this case the enclosing loop number 2 body will get terminated okay and the program execution will move after the enclosing loop number 2 okay so the program execution moves here and it will print me script execution completed so this is how you can use the break statement to terminate from any particular loop right after that we have the continue statement which is used to move the program execution to the next loop iteration the statement followed by the continue statement will not be executed because the program execution will move to the next iteration right so let's see some examples here in the first case we are writing here for i in i curly braces 1 to 5 so the value of i will increment 1 by 1 then i am checking if i equal equal 3 okay at this moment the continue statement has been commented out so the condition is false it will write here i is 1 then in the next iteration it will say i is 2 since the condition is false in the next iteration i is equal equal 3 so it will say move to the next iteration since the condition is true and then it will also print i is 3 then in when the i will become 4 then it will print i is 4 and then for the 5 i is 5 okay now let me uncomment this one with the continue and see what will happen so in the first case i is 1 so the condition is false it will print the same thing that is i is 1 then for the next iteration i will become 2 so the condition is again false and it will print i is 2 then for the 3 it will write i equal equal 3 that the condition is true it will say move to the next iteration and it has written here continue okay now if there was no continue then the program execution was going after the if block but now since we are using here continue then the program execution will move to the next iteration right the following statement anything is written below it are not getting executed 
even though if i'm right here at this moment let's say echo hi this will also not execute so the program execution will move to the next iteration so i value will become 4 so now this condition will be false so it will write here i is 4 and same for the 5 so it will print i is 5 so continue is to move to the next iteration right now just like the break n we have same for the continue n right which is used to indicate in which particular loop you want to continue for example if i write here 1 then it will be continue with the enclosing loop number 1 if i write here 2 then it will be get continue to the loop number 2 enclosing loop number 2 right so let's see how it is work first of all i had commented again the continue and let's see what will be the output right so user im value is yes then it will see for i in 1 to 5 so condition of i here 3 is false so it will print i is 1 then similarly i is 2 then for the 3 this condition is true it will print move to next iteration and it will also print i is 3 similarly it will print i is 4 and i is 5 right after it has completed its body then it will echo inner loop completed then it will ask me do you want to continue so let's say i say here yes so if i say here yes then this condition will be true again it will loop through the five values so i is one then it will print i is one then i is two then for the i is equal equal three this will be true and it will say move to next iteration and also it will print i is three okay then again the inner loop will get completed and the program execution will move after it so it will say inner loop completed do you want to continue let's say i write here no so this condition will be false then i'll move to the next line and it will say script executed so let me write here execution completed right now let's say i write here continue one okay so after the continue i'll write here one so now if the program will execute then the user im value is yes at this moment condition is true and then it will move to the next enclosing loop in which value of i is one at this moment so the condition is false so it will print i is one similarly for two it will print i is two then when it will become three then it says move to the next iteration and continue one okay since i am writing here one so it will be continued to the this particular loop right so now the i value will become four okay so once it is becoming four then the condition is false again and then it will print i is false right then for the five it will say i is five right this body will get again completed and then it will say in a loop completed do you want to continue or not so again let's say i say here yes so the same thing will get repeated the output will be i is 1 i is 2 move to next iteration i is 4 and i is 5 right then again in a loop completed do you want to continue and i'll write here no at this time so the condition of outer loop will get false and it will say script execution completed okay now let's say that i write here instead of one i'll write here two now what will happen in this case again user m value is yes so that this particular condition is true for i in one to five so the value of i at this moment is one so this condition is false it will print i is one same for the two it will print i is two okay now when the i value will become three then it will write here move to next iteration and then continue two now continue two means that it will continue in this particular loop okay it is not going to move to the next iteration for this loop it will move to the enclosing loop number two why enclosing loop number two because i am defining here as two okay now one thing to notice here the value holded by the user imp is still yes i didn't change it anywhere so this condition will get again true then inner loop body will get executed so it will say i is one then again i is two and after that i will become equals to the three condition will be true it will echo me move to next iteration and again it will move to the upper loop or we can say enclosing loop number two right so the condition will get again true okay so in this case we have a infinite loop here so the loop body will never going to end because the value currently holded by the user imp is never going to change okay but the major point here is that 
when I am using here 2, then the next iteration of the enclosing loop number 2 will be continued. Okay. Now, at this moment, as we know that we are getting the problem of infinite loop. So, in this case, what we can do, we can move this particular line in the if part. Okay. So, if the user provided here no, then after the continue, the condition will get false here. Okay. And once it gets false, so the outer loop will also get terminated and it will print as script execution completed right now one more thing that you have to remember while using the break and continue is that suppose in place of 2 i'll write here 5 now what will happen here so basically if i'm writing here 5 then our program knows that there are only two loops so even though i'm writing here 5 it will be treated as 2 okay it will be treated for the most above loop or or the loop that has highest enclosing number and same thing happens for the break if i am writing their break as 15 right suppose if i am writing here 15 now we know that there are no 15 enclosing loop so it will take as the maximum enclosing loop number so it will be treated as 2 only right 2 only okay so keep this point in mind while using the break or continue with the n value so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and up to see you in the next video